Don't let me leave, Murph! <laughs> no! 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 Just as that intro video depicts, there's going to be some decisions that have to be made on crypto. I'm going to be talking today about crypto news, my crypto trades. I'm going to be covering the market overall. This is the Stocks with Josh show. Thank you for hitting that like and hit the subscribe and the YouTube all notifications bell to get daily insights on stocks and crypto charting and some predictions. All right, let's start off by talking about the market overall. It's obviously a red day. The S&P 500 heat map is looking kind of bearish. There's some speckles of green in there, but mostly red and some neutral gray. The markets are absolutely at a high point, but they're between the 4200 and the 4100 on the S&P 500 as measured by the SPX, and they're sort of in a place of indecision. It seems as if stocks are going down, but most of them are truly going sideways right now. And I'm going to keep this super clear for you guys. What I'm doing is I'm watching volatility. If the VIX remains beneath 17, I believe that the market remains bullish and it can go higher. When we go back above 17, I think it's an early signal that the markets are going to begin to flush down. But while we're beneath 17, and today we've been beneath 17 all day, we've got to remain on the bullish side. So bullish beneath 17, bearish above 17 on the VIX. And the things that have been working today, we see are Walmart and Home Depot. Now, I talked about Walmart after their last earnings as well as Home Depot, and I said that in the coming days, we were gonna look at these stocks and see that they may outperform big tech. And sure enough, if you look at the Walmart chart, at that time, I identified that the $144 mark would be an important place to put your stop loss. I also identified that the candles in that area were actually kind of not looking that great. And sure enough, it did come and close beneath that level and it led to a back test all the way down to the 200 moving average. But because Walmart is above that moving average, it continued to go higher from there and it's now up at a place where it could potentially be testing all-time highs just around the corner, which would be around $160. And if we slide over to the crypto heat map, we see that it is a red, red, red day. We have clearly pulled back. The momentum has shifted, but it doesn't mean that the bull run in crypto is over. It just means that there's some profit taking, it's cooling off, it's gonna come back, it's gonna back test support, and it's at that point that we're gonna find out whether or not we're pushing higher or it breaks that level and we're going lower. Right now, I think I'm going to take the position and assume that when it gets back to support, that's where I'm going to want to begin to load back up. But before I get into those technicals, I want to kind of cover the environment that we're in right now. It's been a very crypto heavy news environment. We saw that Gary Gensler had to appear before Congress and get himself grilled. We also saw that Coinbase, the CEO, Brian Armstrong, basically threatened to leave the country if the environment for crypto from the government perspective did not become more friendly. He said, if the regulatory government does not improve, we're out of here. Gary Gensler on the ropes over at Congress. Check this video out. To either a yes or a no, that will allow us to get through as many as possible, sir. Perspective is more difficult now for the digital asset industry to access financial products and services in the United States than it was, say, two years ago. Sir, I, I, I'm not running yes one of those or businesses no. if they came into compliance. I think reclaiming my time. The answer, sir, is yes. Do you think you and the SEC have had a role to play in that? I think we have a role to protect the American investor and the capital markets. And the Reclaiming my time, sir, you have played an obvious role in that. Biggest crypto failure in history is probably FTX at $9 billion. Yes, sir. Were you the chairman of the SEC when FTX collapsed? Yes. Does it concern you, by the way, that your approach to the digital asset industry is actually driving this industry out of the United States? trying to drive it to compliance. And if they're not complying with the laws, then they shouldn't be offering their products. Reclaiming my time. Uh, Madam Chair, I would like to enter into the record this Wall Street Journal article from April 14th, 2023, detailing China's ploy to open its banking system to crypto firms in an effort to seize an opportunity created by our hostile regulatory environment. 
which uh, Mr. Chair, you're a big part of. So Gary claims that his role is to protect the American people. And of course, I've got to ask Gary, who did you protect? Did you protect the people at Voyager or Block? Or maybe did you protect the FTX customers? No, Gary, because FTX was your buddy, Sam Bakeman fried you hung out with him. You have not protected the American people. All he has been doing is filing these Wells notices against companies like Coinbase and against cryptos that a lot of us are invested in. And here's what that Wells notice is. It's an essentially an inquiry or an indictment that something has gone wrong. And it really begins the process of putting these companies and these developers in a state of fear, right? It's, a, it's, a, it's a, how much do they have to gear up to protect themselves against whatever Gary Gensler's Wells notice is intending. And so in a weird way, it's kind of like if you or I got thrown in prison and we're asking them, well, what's the charge? What's the crime? What's the law? And they have no answers. They are only telling you that you might have done something wrong and that's why we're taking action against you. Obviously wouldn't work on the level of law and order and it doesn't work for Gary Gensler either. I'm going to quickly jump into the charts and burn through some support and resistance for Bitcoin, Mara and Riot. But a quick station break for my affiliate, the Moomoo Investment app. If you need better trade tools, they're offering up to 15 free stock to open and fund an account, as well as a chance at a cash coupon valued up to $1,500. What is a cash coupon? Well, if you get the cash coupon, it'll appear in your account and you can immediately begin to invest with it. In addition to that, their current offer is giving away a one month subscription to Benzinga Pro, which will help you get your options game moving. And then when you get all of that and you start your investment journey, you can come find a chat group that I host on the app called Stock Josh Fam. If you're a member of the chat, say hi and throw a heart in the comment section. Okay, I've been nibbling on Bitcoin already, but my eye is set to the area of 26,500 and $66. This is the area where I think I'm going to take my largest position. And from there, I'll leave a little bit off the table to buy more if it goes lower. But that's my ideal target re-entry for Bitcoin right now. Mara, in my opinion, it has to pull back more. I think it has to pull back to at least $8.47. Now, $8.08 .08 is the 50-day moving average. That's where I'm going to be looking to buy, but you know, it may not get that low. So if you get back to $8.47, that's a decent support. 808 is the 50-day moving average, and it could bounce there. My target for Mara moving forward, if Bitcoin continues to move up, which I'm still in the position of believing that it will, my target for Mara is going to be the $12.69 on the low end, and even as high as up to $14.16. So there's a lot of profit in that range to be made. Quick review of Riot. Riot has to pull back to $9.68. Riot had been showing much better relative strength in the charts, but interestingly, they both seem to have come to a very similar place. I see support for Riot back at $9.68. And again, the 50-day moving average is $8.32. For me, that's where I would look to enter. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you again for hitting the like. Hit that subscribe and that YouTube all notification bell to join the family and to get these insights, predictions, analysis, and this charting. Click on the link in the top pinned comment for the Moomoo app, get all those benefits, and then come find us in the chat group over there. Peace and blessings, my friends. I'll see you in the next video.